Hello again, it's Joey John McGuire. I'm in the Broadway bar, turned right outside Fulham Broadway Underground Station, and you can find me on the odd day. I've been coming here for a long, long time now. Uh, run by a good friend of mine, Brennan. Nice bar, well worth a visit. I'm about to recite my latest poem, uh, done as per usual in the early hours of this morning. It's called too late to say goodbye. Not a time to rattle the door hinges, nor to tap gently that day. For although we had not spoken in months, to be abrupt or timid somehow did not seem a fitting thing to do. I must admit, I was feeling vulnerable and fragile, because it wasn't mine to judge nor did I have the right to argument. I've known that fact ever since opening my stupid mouth when she turned and walked away, ranting and gesticulating to anyone with a mind to listen that I was a very rude man. Pride and its stupidity had kept my apology at bay and be sure it was mine to do so. And now it was too late as I listened to my knock reverberate around her empty home, followed by nothing as the house descended into complete silence. Then, through the glass plate, a telling sign scattered envelopes carpeting the hallway and lots of them. She'd gone, lock, stock, and barrel. The whole caboose, a hurried departure, a moonlight flit. Call it what you like. Thank you very much. That's my lot. I've had enough and no forwarding address. Too late to say sorry. My heart now as vacuous and hollow as the empty hallway. And worst thing of all, sadly, far too late for me to say goodbye. Joey John Maguire.